Today we are going to see how easy it can be to add a new node to an existing Kubernetes cluster. I'm going to use the cluster we created in the previous video. I'm going to put the link to that video in the description. We are going to add two new nodes to that cluster and we are going to see how we can join them and how they can connect to each other and talk to each other. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So this is how a Kubernetes cluster with multiple worker nodes would normally look like. You have the master node, which is responsible for running your cluster, which we installed one in the previous video. ETCD, the API server, and any other Kubernetes-specific pods are running inside the master node. In the high availability cases, you can have multiple master nodes. Your application, on the other hand, is running on the worker node. When you deploy something, the master node decides which worker node suits your application the best and it will deploy it on that node. You can also specify that my application should run on a GPU server and the master node will find the GPU server and deploy your application. To prepare each node, uh, the, the steps are the same. You are going to need a container runtime. In the master node, the container runtime will run the Kubernetes specific containers. In the worker node, it will run your application containers. Cube ADM is for administrating the node. You will set up the node, uh, you will join them to the API server, and so on. And Kubelet is responsible for talking to your uh, container runtime. So, uh, we are going to prepare uh, one worker node at the beginning from the uh, commands we had before. So, we are going to install containerd with these commands and then we are also install Kubernetes with kubelet and kubeadm. And uh, then we are going to not run this one. This one is uh, for kubeadm in it is for initiating a control plane node, which is the master node. We are going to use kubeadm join. But there is an easy way to um, produce that command and then we are going to see how is that done. This was the server which we used in the previous video and it was located in Germany and the new server is located in Finland. As you see there is no issue, the new server will introduce itself to the first server which the API server is running on it and then the API server will handle the uh, connections, the pods and so on. Uh, to prepare it, uh, the steps is the same as in the first video. We are going to first install container D and then we are going to disable swap. Uh, swap also should be off on the worker nodes and then we are going to install kubelet and kubeadm. I'm going to fast forward these parts and then when everything is up and running, um, we will get back to join the worker node to the master node. Okay, so on the right window we have the worker node and on the left window we have the master node. Uh, the worker node, we just installed everything on it and we have to now connect it to the master node. In order to do that, there is a command uh, for kubeadm, uh, token create and print join command. Oops, join command. So uh, here is uh, our join command, we can simply uh, copy and paste it here but I wouldn't do that I prefer always to put this into configurations and uh, with the configuration we can make sure that uh, the container D uh, on, on this one with kubelet, uh, cube, uh, kubelet and so on will be configured properly so I have already prepared the uh, configuration here and I'm going to also share this um, in my in the github repository so now let's go on and then replace the placeholders so uh, for the token we are going to take this and this will be our token and then the third hashes will be uh, this one
and here we're going to replace this and here will be the name of our node i'm going to name it worker01 and this one will be copied here so uh nano cube adm config yaml and here will be our uh config file so cube adm join command is a sudo command so we need to do sudo cube adm join and as we had it with init uh, minus minus config we are going to have cube adm join minus minus config and uh, the path to our cube adm config file now let's see uh, now it is introducing itself to our uh, master node and as you see here it says kubectl get nodes to see if the node is ready kubectl get nodes so the node is there worker uh, one and now uh, let's actually give it a role too because when we are going to uh, test it we are going to uh, deploy one nginx into the worker node and one nginx into the ubuntu like in the first one the master node and then we are going to uh, run a curl command against each other to see if they can talk to each other so let's uh, see how actually it does look like in the kubernetes dashboard so under the nodes uh, here's our node running and to change the role you just simply uh, open the uh, master node uh, record copy this line this is where the node role is set and then open the edit for this one and then change the control plane to worker and just name it worker01 so this says that this is worker and the value is worker01 and now if i run nodes again uh, as you see the worker is now there so now uh, that our worker is there let's go on and test it so let's uh, put a pod on it and then see if we can uh, make the pods talk to each other so to test if the uh, both uh, nodes can communicate with each other uh, i decided to uh, deploy a very simple pod we are going to deploy nginx and we are going to run curl command from one node to the other node through these pods to see if they can access each other so uh, i have prepared three uh, deployments one is for the master node and two are the the other worker nodes the last worker node we will get into at the end uh, that will have a trick um, because cube proxy in the, in the case that we are going to test will fail and then we are going to see how to solve it but for now um, let's see what's going on inside uh, this deployment uh, this is a typical Kubernetes deployment. The only thing is that here we have a node affinity and in this case we are going to tell this deployment that we are going to have the pods only available on the nodes with this specification which means that the node role should be control plane and this node role should exist on this node. So uh, it's going to be uh, deployed under the YouTube namespace and uh, let's apply it kubectl apply f nginx master node it's created and on this one uh, we tell uh, kubernetes that we want this uh, to be deployed on a node uh, which has the worker uh, 0 01 uh, available under the worker uh, label so let's apply this one too and now let's see how will it look like inside the Kubernetes dashboard. So as you see, uh, the Nginx master node is running under uh, this node, which is our master node. And the Nginx worker node pod is running under the worker 01, which is our worker node. So I would say, let's go on and then split the pages. Um, mm -hmm. And then not this one this one so let's go to the master node so the master node and this is the worker node let's go to their command lines and now on the worker node let's access the master node so first let's see if it has internet access so we are going to curlgoogle.com we are going to get a response back now let's uh, curl the master node so it will be http 
Nginx master node port 80. So as you see, uh, the master node gave us a response back, and uh, let's actually access. Let's see, actually, it also can access itself. Um, so let's clear. We are going to access the worker node one from the worker node one. Mm -hmm. It also can access itself. And uh, now let's from the master node access our worker node. So this would be curl HTTP uh, nginx worker node one port 80. I believe it's not needed either. So as you see, I can also access from the master node the worker node. So let's go to the pods to see uh, how, how are they. So from the, in the master node and here is the worker node. As you see, the IPs are set to the uh, nodes. So the master node uh, CIDR is set to this range and the worker node is this range. So it is uh, 10, 1, 10, 0, slash 24. So it means from 0 to 2, uh, from 1 to uh, 255, it will take all of the IPs and so on. So the communication is now there. So now let's go to our other special case I'm going to get a new node and then see uh, what will be the challenge there so I got a new node and I added it to the cluster so now let's see what is happening to this one uh, this one is getting the error on the cube proxy and because of the cube proxy is not running the flannel is also not running it says the name server limits were exceeded so Normally you have to look into, so I'm running on Hetzna servers and uh, let's see what we will see under the uh, resolve conf. Uh, so sudo cat uh, etc resolve conf and it's not much here we don't see like uh, if it is exceeded or, or not so let's go on and uh, see the status. Resolve CTO cells. So here as you see this is the line that it says here it's exceeding. It's because that kubelet cannot have more than, uh, sorry kubeproxy here cannot understand more than three DNS servers here can it, it will be exceeded. To solve this uh, we just will simply uh, run this command kubectl, uh, sorry, uh, resolve CTO and um, DNS uh, the, 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 the interface name ETH uh, 0 and then the DNS service that we want just the 2 and then let's do the status again this should be fine so now let's see let's actually remove the remove this one nodes Okay, so now as you see, the cube proxy is running fine. So uh, there is no, so the container regime is created and so on. So now let's go on and then test the uh, the pods. But before that, uh, we can we have to also uh, set the role here as we did it before. We are going to copy this, put it here, and. Uh, That would be worker two, and then this would be worker. So now let's go on and deploy the pods. So now let's go on and deploy the uh, Nginx on the worker node on the last worker node. Uh, so as you see, like it is going to be uh, installed or deployed on the worker zero two, and let's just apply it by f. Um, Nginx worker node 2 and uh, let's see what happened so it is available here and now let's see if from here we can access the other two Hell, HTTP Nginx, Nginx master node I can access the master node and let's see if I can access the first one the first worker node uh, Nginx Nginx 
so I can have one and I can access this one too. Uh, so yeah, uh, here is how you can connect the uh, nodes together to have a new uh, node added to your existing cluster. And uh, I think I'm gonna go and uh, probably uh, upload a new video on how to harden a Kubernetes cluster, how to harden these nodes and so on, so that uh, you will not have any pod injection or any security issues. Uh, but for now, that's it and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, see you on the next one.